the Obsbot Live app is going to be Obsbot's multi-camera streaming solution that's gonna allow us three camera inputs for our live streams. It gives us some incredible control, some functionality that we won't find in other live streaming app offerings. And we're gonna walk through the process today of what it's like to have a three camera setup in the Obsbot Live app. I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. So opening up the app, we offered the option to bring in our three cameras. Now notice we also have other sources. We can do our front camera or our rear camera from our control device, but I have to turn one of the other cameras off in order for one of those to come on because it is a, a limit of three cameras at a time. Once I've got those three cameras selected, we'll get that picture back up here so that you can see what we're, what we're looking at, what we're greeted with on our first screen of having all three cameras on. So I can look and adjust whatever I need to from each of the three cameras that I've got set up, one facing me, one facing the rain that is so beautifully falling outside, and one that gives me an overall shot from the side over there of kind of where I'm set up here in my office. Then in addition, we have the picture-in-picture -picture canvases that we have options of as well. So I can go over to the Canvas tab and look at my Canvas 1 and choose that to be any of these three preset Canvas options. Now, this is a triple side-by-side. -side. Gives me the center cut from any of these three views, and that works really well. You can adjust the camera uh, to, to give you a different part of that however you need to for Canvas 1. Then I look at Canvas 2. That gives me my overall view for one of us plus inset of the other two cameras. And then my camera, my Canvas 3 gives me the three individuals that are stacked on top of each other. I, I do have a background on Canvas 3. You don't have to have a background if you want to, or you can do one of your own pictures, but there's the no background, and then some of these other backgrounds that you can have there as options as well. So there's my Canvas choices in the Obsbot Live app. Our transitions, I can choose, right now I have them set to fade in and out, directional uh, draw out, rotation, exchange, or wipe, and then you can set the effects duration for how long you want it to take for any of those uh, transitions to happen. Also, none being an option there. And then as you're setting things up, you also have the mixer. We have the output slider, monitor slider as well, but also then we have our camera inputs Notice that we do also have iPad audio as one of our options. So let's look at uh, a little bit more in depth at this mixer, okay? So I don't want my monitor on because I'll get a, uh, I'll get a, a looping feedback there and that's not what I want. I do want my live out. That's in a pretty good spot there. I like to have it bounce that, that high for my, my, my speaking. But then each of our tail airs is gonna give us their microphone option as well. You can have it always open, always closed, or this one does offer audio follows video. So if I have my three cameras set up in, in spots where I want that audio to be turned on only when that camera is active, then I can have that option here as well. I'm gonna turn all these off. We'll do always closed for all those three and run my, and run my, iPad audio as, uh, as my only audio source for the recording we're about to make. Okay, so next step. Oh, excuse me, I need to go back one time. So that's my transitions, that's my mixture, that's my picture-in-picture -picture canvases. I also have remote control. We're gonna look at the end of this video about how the remote adds to what you can do in this app. I know not everybody has the remote, and so that's not gonna be the bulk of it, but we will look at it at the end. So if that's interesting to you, stick around to the end, and we'll look at the, the, uh, what, we, what we are offered in the remote adding into this, uh, this iPad app, uh, available on iPad and Android as well. So bottom right-hand corner, I have my, my, uh, my go live button and my record button. If I hold it, it brings up my options for going live. I can set my bit rate 720 or 1080. I can set, excuse me, my resolution 720 or 1080. I can set my bit rate to be anywhere from 
500 kilobits per second all the way up to 10,000 kilobits per second. And on 1080, I like to keep mine around 4,500, depending on what quality of, uh, of connection I have. So there's my press and hold on the go live button. My press and hold on the record button is going to bring up my ability to record in also resolution and frames per second. I can record locally to, uh, to this device. One of the things that I recognize about recording locally to a device is that is oftentimes running the app and recording to the internal storage will cause your app to glitch. It's just part of the way it is. And so it is my preference to go ahead and record to the SD cards, pull them if I'm going to be recording. If I'm using this to live stream, I seldom ever record in addition to live streaming, but that's again, just a personal preference. So let's go back into the recording options. I don't want it to record to the program. I do want it to record to each of my, um, of my devices. Keep in mind that your recording to the local album is only gonna get you a 1080 stream, a 1080 recording. I can do 40, uh, 4K, uh, 24 to 30 frames per second recording to each of the SD cards. I can drop it down to 1080 or 720 if I need to as well. So that's my recording options. Now, uh, in this particular uh, in this particular scenario, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. And so the features that we get from the Obsblot Live app are going to be similar, but not quite as full as the Obsblot Start app. Now the Obsblot Start app is one where you have to connect to each camera individually. You can't be connected to more than one at a time, where you do have the full range of setting all of your options. Bottom left-hand corner of the Obsbot Start app is gonna bring up all the different places that you can change uh, how your camera is operating. We don't get all those features in the Obsbot, in the Obsbot Live app. Uh, this one is designed to, to take you live and to have a lot of good feature sets, but not to be where you tweak each part of the camera itself. And so, although I have a camera wheel, that does give me some great functionality about how to use the camera. It's not the setup that you have in the Obsbot Start app where you can turn NDI on or off, where you can turn UVC mode on or off, where you can set up your SRT connection, all the different pieces that you have in, uh, in the Obsbot Start app. They're not in the Obsbot Live. Just know that in order to have that granular detail, you're gonna need to have the Obsbot Start app and, and go through each camera and set them up as you want. So. Uh, We'll get into the, the settings for each of these cameras as we look in just a moment, but let's talk about the, the screen we have in front of us first. So here are the individual shots that we have. There's that outside shot of a beautifully rainy day. Yes, I would love for that shot to be zoomed in a little bit. Let's go ahead and push that in so we can see what's happening outside. A little bit better. Of course, we didn't have that big poster on the door. I could see it a whole lot better, I guess, but that's okay. So there's the view from uh, looking outside view here of me in the office and then the wide view here in the office as well that shows us all three different cameras working at the same time. So now we've got that. I do have my canvases. So now I've got that outdoor. I've got me in the center and I have that side view over there. Let's go back here and see if we can make that. Let's see. See if we can make that focus on me just a little bit better. It's not real bright in here. That may be part of my issue, but that looks like it's pretty well in focus. However, this one does not look like it's quite as in focus, but maybe it's just my eyes, okay? Then that's another of the, uh, of the shots where I'm looking outside, but I have the two insets of me there in the bottom, and then my canvas that has all three shots just scattered around the screen. Also on this front screen of what we have here, I have my recordings. I can go into, oh, I can't do it while I'm live streaming or while I'm, while I'm recording, but you have your library there uh, uh, on, on this little icon. And then we have some, uh, some filter beautification type, uh, type settings here in the, in the, I don't know what that is. It looks like a, a marker maybe that uh, I can change uh, to give myself a little bit different look. Um, these three actually change the shape of my face, which is a little bit unsettling. I'll just go ahead and be honest with you. Okay, so then... Then the filter stuff, the beautification, I can whiten my teeth or smooth my skin or, or clear up some things. We can put makeup on. Uh, I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, 
I'm, I'm really not wanting my, uh, my lips to show up that dark, right? So uh, we're gonna go none on the old lipstick there. Uh, body shape, body type. If this was a full body shot of me, we could make things a little bit different. Um, we can make, we can change the look of my head. Uh, I, I do have a rather large gourd, and so if I don't like that, I'm a little smaller, I guess I can do that too. That is wild, okay. Uh, great stuff, so we're gonna turn that back off. And then just your natural filters uh, to, to have the shot that you want for uh, for the lighting that you have in the room where you are. So anyway, all right, so that's the, that's the those. And then of course we have that audio um, mixture that I kept tapping on just to double check my audio here. All right, so that's that's front screen. That's what we get here when we're looking at uh, at the Obsbot Live app. Now let's get into each of these shots. So uh, the control of the camera comes from tapping on the wheel icon, the settings icon in each camera's icon, each camera's shot. So now I have again. Um, all kinds of good control for the camera as far as what it's doing. So here's my uh, auto or manual control here of ISO, shutter, exposure, uh, focus, all those kinds of things. And I have all these cameras set right now on auto, also uh, uh, here auto as well. My style is standard. My white balance is white balance is auto as well, and I. Uh, usually go ahead and lock my auto exposure if I know my light is not going to be changing. So now I have all of that set like I want it. I can tap on the screen to get it to focus or or uh, adjust its exposure there, um, depending on what happens. Uh, let's see, can I, okay, with that on lock, I can't change. There we go. Now I can over or under expose, um, but we want that to lock. We want it to be, there we go, focus there. We'll do auto exposure. All right, so that's that first tab. Um, here I can turn my grid lines on or off. I can turn HDR on or off depending on what my settings are. Um, right now HDR is not on and I can't turn it on. But I may because we're recording already. So uh, there is that. We'll kill that and go into the next one. I do have my AI tab where it can uh, AI me wide or auto, where I can uh, have it move slow, fast, or standard. Um, tracking, uh, we, can, we can let it track me. Let's see, uh, we'll do auto, yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, and we can, oh yeah, we can target it. So let's box select the target for tracking there. Now you see that it is tracking me a little bit. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's kill that. Get back out of AI. There we go. Double tap on the screen, turns that uh, box tracking off. And now we can move over to our gimbal control that I have here on the screen. Um, you can tap and hold and move the gimbal if you want. Works really well, gives you a dot with which to, uh, uh, anyway. Uh, so let's go over, back over to our gimbal. Let's frame this shot up a little bit better. We'll zoom in. Yep, looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, my gimbal control, um, make it move slower or faster, uh, and, and uh, be able to have uh, really good fine control, a 350 degree uh, panning uh, with these devices, and then a three times digital zoom. Uh, gives a, a really good ability to set up a shot from wherever you are. So I make sure that's focused on my face. So we'll get back out of gimbal view and we'll go into the presets. Now presets is just one of the things that I am enamored with with the Obsbot Tail Air with any of their software that they use. And so in presets, I'm gonna get three presets plus my home preset and hit the plus. So now my initial position is, that's not tracking me, it's not, all right. So there's my initial position. Preset one is zoomed in and up a little bit. Looks like I've got these presets set from something else. Preset two is zoomed in more. Move over there. Preset three is gonna swing it around and catch the corner over there. I then go back to my home position and it brings it back here. So technically that's four presets that I get from being in the, uh, in the Obsbot Live app. Okay, so we'll kill the preset. Oh, hang on, I went back too far. Uh, let's go back into that one. 
Oh, okay, so presets is on the front of this one, so that you, you just get that. So those preset, presets can be any zoom level, any focus level, any pan tilt level that you can you can use in the app. And so running a live stream, running a, a set of recordings for a three camera setup in the Osbot live app becomes both well featured and easy to do. This is a, this is really a good app that they've given us. Um, we're going to have some great quality audio running the uh, running the microphone here into my iPad, using the iPad as my audio input. Uh, I'll be able to report um, once I start editing whether I need to do any um, adjustment between camera and audio to see if it does in fact sync up the way it's supposed to. My and my 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 first uh, anticipation is that it is going to do exactly what we want it to, and so uh, I, I look forward to getting these shots. Um, into a into a, a recording to, to highlight the Osbot Live app as a great option for recording a live streaming your mobile live streaming setup. So we said we we're going to come back and look at what the remote option offers us at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and and uh, and cl click on the uh, remote control tab here. I turn the remote on, which is sliding this little button down on the side of the remote, so it gives me a couple of blue blinks. And now I will hit connect. Connect to that button. Yep, it found me, so we'll into that remote, so it'll, we'll connect it. Now it shows me that I have my LEDs on the on my buttons lit up. I will go ahead and tell you that my number one LED is burnt out, so or is something's happened to it. And, it doesn't ever show up, so we'll just be paying attention to these two. Great thing about the Obsbot, um, Obsbot Live app is that it gives us the, the the help of what each of these things do in the app, so I can give myself a quick tutorial or a quick reminder of how each of these works as I turn my my remote on. I can uh, I can zoom uh, in or out with the side button here. We have our record button here, so if I need to set it up and get away from the device that I'm using, I can absolutely do that because uh, the remote allows me to go ahead and start my recording from wherever. Gimbal control is outstanding on this uh, on this remote, and then I can set up my tracking for human tracking, animal tracking. Can go ahead and get my my laser shot close up, so you see the laser pointing there, and so it your your uh, Obsbot tail there will will focus on that uh, that laser there. Then you get your three preset positions just above the uh, the camera, the, uh, the LEDs that are lit here. So three preset buttons as well. All right, so double click and I can change which uh, which camera that I'm on. When I, when I double click on any of these, it changes over to that other camera. Picture in picture mode. Gives me my different canvases as well. Get back out of picture in picture mode. Just go over to the camera. If I want to select camera three and change what it's actually doing without it being on, uh, on, on the screen, I can do that so that when I go back to camera three, it's a different shot than what it was the last time I left it. Excellent addition to your uh, to your live stream. This little remote, if you haven't picked one of those up to go with your Obsbot uh, Tail Air set of cameras, it's absolutely worth the extra to uh, to get that kind of functionality. A great addition in the Obsbot Live app. I think it would be a great addition to your live stream.